hi guys welcome back to this channel if you're new to this channel you're welcome my name is victory so for today's tutorial we're making a pencil skirt with side ruffles if you want to see how this came out keep on watching don't miss any parts <laughs> so this is the ankara fabric the first thing i'm going to be doing is to mark out the length of my skirt so for the length of my skirt i'm going to minus two inches for the band because i'm going to add a band to it to the waist part so i'll minus that two inches for the band then mark out the length of my skirt then after marking out the length of my skirt i'm going to add extra two inches for the hemming so that when i'm folding it inside for the down i'm going to fold part of the material inside also with the lining you just watch you understand what i'm what i'm saying so this is the length of my skirt then I'll add the extra two inches now. Okay, so that's what I'll use to fold it inside. After marking out the two inches, I'll go ahead and cut out my skirt length. So these are the measurements we took: the two inches from the band minus two inches from the band. Then take your skirt length plus two inches for the hemming. So I'll go ahead and cut out my skirt. Okay, now I folded my fabric into four using my hip measurement divided by four plus two inches. So this excess part is for my zip allowance. I'm going to cut out both the front and the back together. Remember our two inches for band, so I'm going to minus it and mark out my eight inches like so. I'm going to mark out my eight inches. Sorry about this part, I mistakenly cut my, fab my, my fabric. So that's why we have that part there. So now, after my hip line, after marking out my hip line, I'm going to mark out the length of my skirt. So I'm marking out the length of my skirt, which is going to be my knee also. I'll just take the camera closer so you see what I'm doing. So that's the length of my skirt. That's the two inches for the hemming. So just go over it again. Minus your two inches for your band. Take your waist, your hip line, which is eight inches, then the length of your skirt. So my waist divided by four, my waist is 26. Divided by four is six and a half plus one inch for that allowance, making it seven and a half plus one and a half inch for your seam allowance, which is the sewing allowance. My hip measurement is 36. 36 divided by four is nine. Nine plus one and a half inch seam allowance which is making it 10 and half mark out 10 and half so as you can see the measurement did not get to this part that i caught so thank god so i'm going to mark out the knee which is my knee so for my knee i'll use my hip measurement minus one inch and for my hip i use nine inch nine minus one is eight so i'll mark out the eight inch plus one and a half inch or mark out the one and a half inch for seam allowance so this is the aiming part the part that, was, that we're going to use to fold the material inside so just also mark it out on the material so that when i'm cutting i'm going to see it i'll mark out my eight inch plus my one and a half inch for seam allowance now I'll go ahead and connect these lines that we've marked out the waist to hip then the hip to the knee the skirt length waist to hip then hip to knee so i'm just marking it connecting after connecting i'm going to cut it out so you see this part that is open <laughs> i was actually trying to cut out my fabric i mistakenly notched it to my scissors and it was so deep and my chair was small so i could not cut another one again my chair was two yards two yards it was not even complete four inches was even missing from it so i was not like hey god what am i going to do so i decided to put this open part at the part i'm going to trim out the excess part i'm going to trim out when i'm cutting my fabric so you see my two my zip allowance is small so it's supposed to be two inches when you're cutting your please add two inches to your zip allowance so you could seam it very well two inches because of my mistake that's why my zip allowance is like this so when you're cutting yours try not to make any mistake but if you make a mistake there's always a way to work it out oh so after that now we're going to cut out our lining <laughs> so for the line i'm going to place the fabric on the lining so remember that two inches are folded inside i will set this for the m the down ending so we're going to fold it inside then mark it with our scissors just make just small notch and mark it so that you know where you folded 
the part that you folded so after that now we're going to cut out the lining i'm just trying to fold the lining so after folding i'm going to use the ankara fabric to cut out the lining so the line is going to start from where the two inches ended so that's where the line is starting from you can just add like extra make it go inside by like half an inch for the seam allowance for seaming so it's just go inside with half an inch just watch what i'm doing so after that i'll just cut cut out the lining the exact measurements or cut it out so i'll show you what it looks like what's going to look like so it's like this you place the lining on the fabric right side facing each other then after facing after placing it you sew the down together like that then sew it all the way around join the lining and the ankara fabric together so this is what it's going to look like you join the fabric and the lining together after joining you are going to use the lining to cover the right side of the fabric just cover it like this just the way you see me doing it then i'm going to sew it with half an inch all the way around sew it with half an inch after sewing with half an inch you are going to leave an opening leave a space where you can bring it out from inside out bring the inside out so after sewing this is what mine look like later i put mine by the waist because i'm going to use my band to cover it too my opening is by the waist so i'm going to use this opening to bring it inside out bring the inside part out from this place so after bringing it out this is what i got so i'm going to iron it so that the shape can come aside so i'm going to iron it out now so this is what it's looking like this is what it's going to look like when you do just like this So for the waist part, you know the waist is not so straight, so I'm going to come down by half an inch, then connect it like this, just like a slant. So after connecting, I'm going to sew it. So this is what I got after sewing. So I went there to add my darts. My darts is 5 inches deep. So I did same for my back piece. I added my darts to my back piece. So I've added the darts, so I went there to iron it out. So this is what it's looking like so this is the back part so we're just going to go to the next stage so for the ruffles i went ahead to cut out the fabric i marked seven inches wide seven inches wide then for 44 inches long seven inches wide then 44 inches long but you can make yours longer if you want it to be very full but mine was seven inches wide then 44 inches long seven inches long wide and 12 inches long so after that i made a loose stitch all the way to the end just a loose stitch so i can gather it i actually use my hand needle but you can use your sewing machine to make your loose stitch so i made a loose stitch from one end to the other end so this is what it looks like so this i'm going to gather it so that's why i said you can actually make yours longer if you want it to be fuller so i'll do the same thing for the other part so i cut out two one for the left and one for the right so now this is my front piece i'm going to mark out my allowance you know we marked out one and a half inches for seam allowance so i'm going to take out that one and a half inches or connect it all the way to the end just mark it out the one and a half inches that we marked when we we're cutting the fabric so you see that half inches are minus from the waist so you can see that the waist is a little bit curved at the top okay so just mark it the way you see me doing mark it out then after marking it out then you can connect it with your chalk then you do the same thing for the other side as well you mark then you connect it so this is what it's going to look like when you mark it out when you connect it so you pick one of your ruffles one part of your ruffles then place it at the top just come down with like half an inch so that when you're sewing your band it's not going to interrupt it so just come down with like half an inch then open your gathers to the end just the way you see me doing it 
like this place it like this from the top to the end of the skirt your front piece make sure this ruffles is facing inside not outside do you understand don't let it make it make sure it's facing like this just the way i placed it place just like this so make sure it's face is like this you do the same thing for the other side as well just open it put one part at the top pin it you just use your your pin your use your pin to hold it down do the same thing for the for the other part so this is what it's looking like sorry for my camera then after sewing this is what it's looking like okay so you see so this is what it's looking like so now i'm going to place my back piece to cover it my back piece is going to cover the front piece just like this just going to cover it like this so after covering make sure everything is inside after covering you are going to sew on the the sew the front piece and the back piece together make sure you are sewing on the part you stitched just sew on your one and a half inch then you're going to sew on the part you stitched so now we're going to cut out our band remember the two inches that will minus from our skirt so we're going to cut it out for your band you can measure your waist round and add like two inches in case it's short or you can measure your your skirt round whatever you get to use it as your band you can add your allowance to it when you're sewing your seam allowance to it so after that now i'm marking out five inches for my band five inches for both the seam allowance and everything five inches so now i'm going to cut it out after marking i'll just go ahead and cut out the band after cutting this is what it's going to look like I folded then I had it come still to one side of the band one side just one side of the band then I ironed it with gum steel so I folded half inch inside just like this half inch inside so this is where I'm going to fold it so guys after attaching the front piece and the back piece together this is what I got this is what is looking like so as you can see the front piece and the back piece the skirt is already looking very beautiful the skirt is already coming out so now we're going to attach our band to this skirt so we're going to attach band to it so for the band when you're attaching it remember the half inch that we folded inside the half inch So this is what it's going to look like. So I'm going to put it at the from the zip allowance though from one end to the other end. Just sew it with half an inch all the way around. You can pin it, pin it all the way around so that it will be easy. So you sew it like this. Just watch the way I'm doing mine. So I'll pin it like this. Then when I'm when I'm done, I'll turn it over. Then top stitch on it so you can see that our band is looking very beautiful like this so I'll just go ahead and sew it so guys I've added the band and the zip to the skirt so the skirt is looking very beautiful it came out very nicely so let me know what you think about this skirt in the comment section and if you're not yet subscribed to this channel please subscribe and turn your notification bell so you get notified anytime i post a new video thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for subscribing if you find this video helpful please give this video a thumbs up see you guys on my next one Bye bye <laughs>